and welcome to a special edition of Two Finger Spirits. We got Matt Soper from Beverage Dealer LLC. He's uh, you want to tell us about your company? Yeah, it's a cons uh, beverage consulting company. So I help uh, local spirit companies and uh, alcohol companies get distributors and get into new states. That's basically it. And so you work in a few different states, not just here in Connecticut. Yeah. What I other states do you uh, serve? Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New York, um, Maine. Maine's a little different, so Maine and Vermont are control states, so is New Hampshire, so oh, right. they're a slower process, but I can work with them too. Okay. <laughs> so. yeah. And you're pretty much uh, striking out on your own right now? How, how, how many, uh, how long you been in business? Uh, on my own, I've been doing this just about a year, actually coming up onto a one year anniversary uh, yeah, next so week. Good yeah. for you, congratulations. So, yeah. I'm happy to have you here, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. What did you bring us today? So I think we're gonna do a two part, uh, of this we're gonna do a bourbon and then we'll do a scotch yep. in a second video so what did you bring us so this is a black cherry bourbon it's made in a, a local a company called local choice uh, it's a, a woman-owned business down in South Carolina uh, it's all family run and she does this mix of uh, it's 55 percent corn um, 40 percent yeah 55 corn 40 rye and then um five percent malted barley that's it Ooh, I guessed it. <laughs> that's it and so and then all aged uh you know three year aged all american brand new oak so it's um and then it's processed through it's all done through uh she has a what they call a coffee still oh. so it's not anything to do with coffee it's just the name the inventor of the still so oh. it's it's similar to a pot still but they can do more um more alcohol through it so it's just it make it's that gives it some a little bit extra flavor and then um you know it also allows them to do small batch stuff well bigger small batches so it's a nice nice, nice system unique yeah it is excellent and then they uh they they flavor it with a little black cherry just because it's trying to stay with their southern roots a little more. That's interesting. <laughs> it's popular cool. with their uh with the barbecue and whatnot down yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. So do you go down and you've met with the uh, owners? I've met with the owner. Uh her name's Paula, Pixie Paula. Oh. So you can look her up online. And she's her whole family runs it. Her son's like the business manager and her uh, daughter does the marketing. It's a uh, it's a really close tight knit thing. Oh, how cool. Yeah. And um, they do quite a lot of different spirits. They do a vodka, but this is this is their bourbon, um, and they contract out a lot of other stuff too. So okay. they got they got some big sellers. Um, but I thought this one you guys might like. This is yeah. the one I have up here in, in Connecticut. Um, yeah, let's give it a try then. Yep, ninety proof. 90 so proof. it's. Now I've had a uh, one from South Carolina, mm -hmm. South Charleston. Yeah. I think I've had one from there called Blonde Whiskey, which I I liked a while back, and you can't get it here in Connecticut. So we yeah. need we need guys like you out there getting these brands. <laughs> yeah. So as you see, it is a lighter whiskey. It's, yeah. Uh, three years in, so. Okay. Yeah. Looks like it's got decent viscosity. Yeah. Hangs on. Definitely get the cherry on the oh, nose. Right out right away. Mm. Not much on the ethanol, which is good. The cherry is really strong. A little bit of barrel spice. Mm. Local choice? Local choice. It's the, the distillery. It's a fun little environment, too, if you're ever down in the Charleston area. Go hang out. They'll do tours of the, of the oh, distillery. Yeah. Got their tasting room right there. It's nice. That is very nice. I tell you what, coming into the summertime, I don't usually drink my whiskeys on the rocks. I always drink them neat. Yep. But this, with that nice cherry flavor, yeah. you're still getting the bourbon flavor, the whiskey flavor, but it's like it's got that, like like someone dropped a maraschino. <laughs> Like right, right. Luxardo cherry in it, and yeah, and you throw, uh, you know, it's you can almost drink it like a scotch and water. You know, throw it, a, throw a ball ice in a, yeah. in a tumbler, and a little bit of water, and just sip out on the porch. Yeah, that's really pleasant to sip on. And I could picture making um, some Manhattans with mm -hmm. this, or uh, yeah. an old fashioned. It's got a, a good, unique flavor. Yeah, 
where um, it's not available in too many stores in Connecticut, mostly down in the Fairfield County area right now, um, just because of the distributor stronger down there. Yeah. But you know, hopefully we'll get it up up the rest of the state. It's really easy to get in New York. It's all over New York right now, so it's a uh, it's. Um, and it's in approval process for New Hampshire. So okay. If you have driving by now that the uh, <laughs> the the liquor stores are open, the state stores are open. Hopefully, you'll see this soon. Yeah, and I tried one similar to this. It was Traverse City. You ever hear of them? Mm. And I think this is way better than the Traverse oh, yeah? City I had. And I think the Traverse City, if I remember right, was seventy proof. Yeah. So it was a little weak. This is nicer at 90 proof. It's got more rich, deep char uh, deep cherry flavor. Yep. It's, uh, it's really satisfying. It's really enjoyable. Yeah, you know, it's a if nice, you uh, nice are a bourbon. big whiskey drinker out there and maybe want to get your wife more interested in it, this would be a great starter whiskey for, uh, you know, your wife or a friend that's, yeah. you know, hasn't really got a hold of uh, real whiskey yet. It, it does have a lot of flavor, so, yeah. you know, and even if, if somebody's new to, to, to bourbons, new to whiskeys, put it with some filtered water, it'll, it'll ease them right in. There's yeah. very little burn, even straight, so right. Right. you add some... That's uh, incredibly smooth, which is, we, we try to stay away from the word smooth just because it's, uh, you know, <laughs> but this is really nice and drinkable, we'll say, right? right? It is a very drinkable bourbon. Mm. Yeah, it's a nice clean finish. Yeah, it feels good on the mouth. Yeah, this is really pleasant. I really like that one. You got anything you want to add about it? No, it's um, honestly, this is one of those bourbons where you see it. It's a cool little bottle yeah. out there. It's local. Uh, you know, again, it's it's a family run business. Uh, the woman who started the distillery, she's very innovative. Um, and, and has done it for a long time. So it's one of those where if you try it, not only are you getting a good bourbon, but you just got a, it's a good American story right behind it. Yeah, it is. And uh, what other whiskeys do they offer, um, if any? They do. They actually, um, and I, I apologize, I'm blanking on, on the guy's name, but there is a uh, country music star who actually contracted with them and they produce his, his whiskey. Really? And I cannot, for the life of me, remember his name right now. You're a big country music guy, aren't you? you uh, you're a fan, right? No. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm no, a fan no. of country music, but not the country music that uh, <laughs> your wife and my sisters listen to. Yeah, not me. So, so that's good stuff. This is interesting because it says it's a black cherry flavored bourbon whiskey. Right. Which, usually bourbon, the word bourbon says that you can't add any, there should be no additives, so it's weird that they can get the word well, bourbon on there. When you, um, it's a flavored bourbon whiskey, maybe yeah, that's the way around that, huh? <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a tricky thing. I mean, usually bourbon, it's, uh, it's defined as being 52% corn based. It has to be, think. yeah, uh, has to be aged in, in new American oak. New charred oak barrels, right? Yeah. Right. Um, so after that, there's a lot of gray. Right. There sure is. <laughs> yes. Yes. So a true Kentucky or, um, you know, even Tennessee, they'll be like, no, you can't add anything. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody else is like, it's still a bourbon. It still meets the criteria. Mm -hmm. So right. this is, uh, when they add their flavoring to it, they do all, they hit all the markers. Um, do you know if it's natural cherry flavor or it's, anything about It's the... what they call naturally derived. So oh, it's, okay. they basically distill the cherries themselves too. Oh, and really? Then, and then add the flavoring after. So oh, it's, wow. uh, um, it's less chemically, but it, um, it's not, you can't call it natural. Right. But there is no chemical to taste it. to it. It really does no. taste nice and natural. It tastes yeah. like you took one of those Luxardo cherries and, and just, and just it over it yeah. in there, yeah. Yeah, so it's a good stuff. I say it's a win. I say if you see this in Connecticut or wherever you are watching in the in the world, if you see it, pick it up and keep it on your bar. Um, somebody's bound to stuff. enjoy it. Thanks for coming, man. I really appreciate it. Nice. Cheers. Cheers.